Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another sword review. This was sold as a Viking short sword. It was about $100, made in India. And this is pretty much when it arrived. It's pretty much what I expected, which is a very sturdy, but yet kind of heavy and crude chunk of metal. The edge was really messed up. It had like a huge burr. All right, and uh, I did get some footage of that before cleaning it up. Okay, YouTube, I've got a little craziness to show you. One of the kind of messiest edges I've ever seen on this short sword. Let's see if I can capture it. Okay. You see that? I mean, there is, there is a burr. Like, there is the king of all burrs on this edge. All right, well, that's interesting. I'm gonna fix this. All right, so now that I've cleaned up the edge, I'm going to do a few test cuts with this. Not bad. Okay, so I had cleaned up the edge, but I didn't give it too much additional sharpening, but it's doing okay. Let's just, uh, let's do a few more, shall we? All right, maybe a little uh, thrust followed by a chop. That worked well. It's a fun item, fun little sword. Let's see if I can do a few thrusts without knocking this over. Uh, now this is, it's semi-sharp, it's not sharp enough to just do wrist flicks and cut, still takes some force, one more cut. Well, I'm having a lot of fun with this sword. Hope you're having fun as well. I've got one more water jug. Let's see, another tip for kind of more, more impressive or dynamic cutting. Try to decrease the time between cuts. For example, do one cut and immediately go into the, the follow-up cut. There you go. I capped that, see I capped that, bought that uh, water jug. Hope you enjoyed this video. All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed that. So final thoughts on this Viking sword. Well, first of all, it came with this sheath. It's a heavy, crude hunk of metal, but it's also very sturdy with a nice heft, a nice weight to it. Dude, it feels very solid. It's, nothing is loose at all. Like uh, the pommel, the guard, yeah, no, those are, those are rock solid on the one I got. Another interesting thing I noticed about this sword, because of the weight of the guard and the pommel, it's actually really well balanced. Even though it has a wide blade, it's actually really well balanced. 
you know. What that means, the more weight you have towards the handle, the quicker you can reorient the tip for a thrust. Now, even though this is made in India, they're actually in the U.S., all right? So you're not going to have to wait for a long uh, shipping time. If you order one of these, at least while they are still in stock, I'll put a link to the listing if you want to pick one up. Do I recommend it? Yes, because it's decent for the price. Even though you have to clean it up, you have to clean up the edge and you, you know, you may wish to sharpen it further. This back part here is not sharpened, right? So you may wish to sharpen it further. Once you remove the burr from the edge, it's medium sharp, right? It'll, it'll cut the water jug several times, but if I, um, if I apply a lot of force, right? If you wanted it to cut better, you'd have to sharpen it more extensively. This did not really come with a pointed tip, as you can see. It's a bit rounded, so that's another part of the project. If you wanted, you could make that tip as pointed as you wish. But overall, yeah, I'm happy with this for the price that it was. I definitely feel that it was worth it. Like many swords, it's a little bit of a project, a little bit of a, a fixer-upper. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you like swords, consider subscribing. Okay, but I also cover uh, folding knives, fixed blade knives, multi-tools, all sorts of stuff. All right, so, consider subscribing, consider a super thanks. Right, this has been We All Juggle Knives and Swords.